Hey everybody, in this video we're going to talk about graphing a system of nonlinear inequalities, problem type 1. So for this problem, again, I've gone through the liberty of graphing what we need graphed as far as our boundary lines go, but I haven't graphed my solution yet. Let's talk about a little bit about how I graphed these pieces. If I take a look at this first inequality, okay, this is a circle, this is the equation of a circle. It's centered at 0, 0 and has the radius of 1. This greater than without the equal to indicates it's dashed. All right. Now this next one for the red line is the second piece. It is the equation of a line. I can figure out the equation a little easier by adding x to both sides and dividing by 2 and I'll get y is greater than 1 half x plus 1 half so y intercept of 1 half up 1 over 2 I end up there and I graph my line but this greater than indicates dashed and above so for the red portion, that red boundary line is actually in my true solution is going to be a dashed line. So make sure when you're writing your solutions, you're doing a dashed and not a solid line there. Okay, and I know that it's going to be above, but I notice that above this red line, I could have a solution either inside of the circle or outside of the circle. So what am I going to do to test that? Well, let's pick the point zero, 0, because that is inside of my circle. And I'm only going to use that, test that point for this line. I mean, for this inequality, the circle inequality. So this is 0 squared plus 0 squared is greater than 1. Is 0 greater than 1? False. So the inside the circle didn't work. Right? So it's got to be outside the circle. So where are we both outside the circle and above the red line? That's going to be here. I'm not quite done yet because this blue line was supposed to be dashed. So the circle needs to be a dashed line instead, like so. So there's one example of graphing nonlinear inequalities. Here's our second example here. The first inequality we have in this system of inequalities is a has a border of a parabola. Right? And it's a parabola that's just shifted down to. So that's my blue line. So let's go ahead and write that down. We have a parabola And the line is going, our, our border is going to be solid. Okay, for the next piece, it's already, the border is already graphed, but let's talk about it. Let's add x to both sides. We get y is less than 2 plus x. So this indicates that it's dashed and above. So let's go ahead and take care of the line first. So on the line, our solution is going set is going to be dashed. I'm not going to actually be the line there. And then we're going to go above that line. Now, if you notice, above that line could be on the outside. Oh, sorry. I made a major mistake here. It's less than, 
not greater than, so it's actually going to be below. So we're going to be pointing this direction instead. So I could either be like kind of inside the parabola, right, piece, or outside the parabola piece. And what's, how am I going to find that out? Well, I'm going to test another point. I like to test 0, 0. That's inside, right? So my test point, 0, 0. And I'm going to test that just for the parabola portion. So y is 0. Is that greater than or equal to x squared or 0 squared minus 2? 0 is greater than or equal to negative 2. Check. So that means I'm going to be on this inside of the parabola. So my solution is going to be, remember my solution is purple. It's going to be everything inside of this little piece. And it could include the piece of the parabola where that shaded part touches. I can't include this point here because that point isn't part of my, won't work for my line, but I could include this point here which is 0, negative 2. Let's see if it works and is true for both inequalities. The first one, y is negative 2. Is that greater than or equal to 0 squared minus 2? Well, that's negative 2 greater than or equal to negative 2. So yes, that works for that part. What about for the line portion? Is negative x or negative 0 plus y is negative 2 less than 2? Well, negative 0 plus negative 2 is just negative 2 less than 2. Yes, that's a true statement. So I know that this is the region that will work. Let's say I plug in this point here. Like I was saying, this is the point 3 and 7. So is 7 or y greater than or equal to x squared minus 2? Well, this is going to be 7 greater than or equal to 7. Yes, that's true, but what about for the line portion? Negative 3 plus 7, is that less than 2? Negative 3 plus 7 is a positive 4. That is not less than 2, right? So in order for any point to be included in my solution set, it has to be true for each inequality when I plug them in.